A lot of young guys on this team, so they still learning each other. This Caps team is getting better and better, aren't they? We're playing good ball, and uh, you know it's, it's a process for us. Uh, we're a young group as far as um, our experience together. Gentlemen, bring it in. Bring it in. You know, I, I think we're getting around to where we need to be. But before we put the cart in front of the horse, we really have a lot of work to do to pull this team together and to learn to play the right way uh, so that ultimately we can be extremely successful. You're going live, come on. You can talk it, but you got to walk it as well. And for me as a leader of, the, of this group, I, I come to work every single day. And these guys just, just follow my lead. Over here, show, show. Coming off. Okay. We have such great veterans that are used to winning, but you know they know how to win, and they're teaching not only me but all these young guys how to win, how to lead. Drive, drive, go, Andy. You want to be a really good team. When you want to win, you sacrifice whatever it takes for the team to win. And it's always great to be around a group of guys that that's willing to learn, that wants to learn, and then get better. Tristan Thompson is staying in Cleveland after a year of back and forth and a long summer of contract negotiations. The deal is for five years and his agent says it's worth $82 million in guaranteed money. Thompson averaged 8.5 points and 8 rebounds per game last season, helping to lead the Cavs to the NBA Finals last year, where they eventually lost to the Warriors. The team should be set for a few years of deep playoff runs as they've hammered out long-term deals with Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving, and Thompson. Now their focus will turn to locking down LeBron James past 2016. The Cavs tip off the regular season Tuesday, October 27th in Chicago, so remember to set your FanDuel lineups. For FanDuel Insider, I'm Marissa Marcelino. So if you have two points or whatever, we win the game, you should be happy. So um, I just want to talk with the guys about our spirit. Like, you can't, like, we win a game, you can't be down and mad about, disappointed about your shots and your points and things like that.
In a move that stunned the NBA, the Cleveland Cavaliers fired head coach David Black Friday. This comes on the heels of the Cavaliers suffering one of their worst losses of the season. A 132-98 beatdown at the hands of the Golden State Warriors earlier this week in a rematch of last season's NBA Championship Series. In the aftermath, associate head coach Tyron Liu has signed a multi-year deal to become the team's new head coach. Liu was the runner-up when the Cavaliers narrowed their search for a new head coach and initially hired Black. They then tabbed the former point guard associate head coach, making him the highest paid assistant in the NBA. Lou played 10 seasons in the NBA before transitioning to coaching. He served on Doc Rivers coaching staffs in both Boston and Los Angeles before joining the Cavaliers in 2014. Cleveland currently leads the Eastern Conference with a 30 and 11 record for FanDuel Insider and Madeline Burke. Hi, this is Madeline Burke from FanDuel, and thanks for watching. We put out videos every day to make sure you're up to date on all your sports news. Click here to subscribe to our channel, and click here to see more tips to think about before your roster's locked. We'll see you soon.